the case. Let's okay. Just move Wait, then why are we continuing? We, we're in a break. We could just pause. Now nah, breaks over. Uh, okay, I guess. Breaks over, bitches. You didn't get your drink. That's your fault. Get back to work. No, I don't. I, I, I did. Whatever. Well, Rose got okay, one of the I'm, hardest I'm jobs. Sorry about what happened back there. Uh, I. Yeah, you fucked up. It's all right. I did a goof. At least you told us the truth in the end, Mr. Wright. God, I <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I can start to relax then, huh? Relax, my boy! You can't be serious after hiding such important facts! <laughs> but the next word, this is my dolly, right? Save me. No, she won't. No, she won't, <laughs> I'm a good boy. I didn't think that. Because I'm a good boy. Oh, oh. What, do you, what do you mean? She, she's the love of my life. That's why we're gonna get married. We're gonna have kids. Just you wait. The Just... love of your life. Even me, I was like, well, kids. Hmm. Would you mind telling me more about you, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Old Dolly and I, we, we first met about eight months ago, right oh. here in this very courthouse. <laughs> oh, she's so Actually, pretty. I'm, I'm studying to be a lawyer on the side. Uh, on anyway. the side? <laughs> on the side? It's a side hustle. Side hustle. <laughs> Law school isn't a fucking side hustle, Phoenix. He's gonna be a trophy husband. What is his main side? What is his main study then? Yeah, what's his major? What the fuck? Uh, Jay, you know what you must do. I like also, your umbrella. Tell me I am wrong that uh, looks like a K-pop Search up the main study for that Phoenix. Yeah, oh. Jay, look up what Phoenix is actually studying. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, but then, but then Jay's gonna get spoiled. Nah, don't. Oh. Don't do that. Don't. Just yeah, keep yeah, don't, yeah, don't do that. Just, One day, just, she and I just bumped into each other oh, in the reading room downstairs. I'm not gonna spoil it. Like a couple little goofs. Funny. That's that's why I really think it was fate that brought us together. Is it dramatic? Yeah, I got it. Like, as soon as I first set eyes on her, I knew she was the one for me. Just you wait, boy. Wait, here. Just you Come wait, boy. Uh, gave this to me the day we met as a symbol of our love. Huh? The day you met? It's a trap. She had been she had been wearing it around her neck that day, but then. Took it off. Does not Before she gave it to me, she said, I want you to carry this. Or, I want you to carry this. So she gave it to you as a present, I see. Yeah. You're, you're very smart. This darling little bottle is filled with the memories of my darling little dolly. Um, I, I, I hate that. Mia. Mia. Mia, can I pull you aside for a second? Um, bro. Yes, sir. No. Don't go. Uh, Bro, restrain. <laughs> now listen, now listen, um, you can call this man a communist fleet because I see nothing but a bunch of fucking red flags! Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know why, what is going on? Like, what the fuck, a vile? I'm, look, I, I don't do, listen, I'm not, I'm not one for heterosexual relationships, but like, it, vials? Is that how that works? No, not really, unless you're a face person. Machine gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Alright, alright, let's just let's just talk normal. Alright, let's. Uh, <laughs> hey, alright, we're back. Um, I mean, there are people. Hi there. You weren't talking trash about me, were you? No, I no. Mean, I mean, there are people who like will like, marry right? each other's blood and like a vial around their neck, like couples. Jesus Christ. Do that too. That is an actual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an actual thing. I don't know why the fuck. Yeah, you're like crazy. carrying blood yeah. of someone important to you on you. I had a, I had a, I had a partner that suggested doing that. And, and with that, that, oh, it's certainly a little <laughs> bottle, all right. Is it a <laughs> bottle, all right, Mia? I was good this on had, by the way. It's certainly a little bottle, all right. Yeah. That's one thing about you know. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, it makes me so happy. I show it to, I show it to everyone. I mean, hey guys, look at this. I want to share my happiness with the whole world. Oh, oh. That's, that's romantic disgusting. though. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I would so get to Craig Field to be in court. Um, and he is 
So after that, you and Miss Hawthorne started dating. I'm going to the store, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Mars. Yeah, but she's so shy. Do Every time want I see her, she always says the same thing to me. Oh my god. Do you guys want anything? <laughs> no, no, we're good. We're good. Can I get some sunflower seeds? <laughs> she always says the same thing to me. She'll give it back now. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> We've gone it. We've gone from red to fucking scarlet at this point. What the actual shit? Give it to me as a present! What a strange girl asking for a present back like that. Exactly. You see you understand, right? Hey, no. By the way, Mr. Wright. That day you first met Dolly Hawkman was eight months ago. Yeah. You know. I wouldn't have it, it wouldn't happen. Oh, no, 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 it's not you, not you, not you, not you. Not you. <laughs> It wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened to have been August twenty seventh, would it? Sometimes it's not our turn to talk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Crow. Sometimes it isn't. <laughs> I like Crow talking. I like Crow. Talking. I'm sorry. I had to. I had to say. I just, it, the opportunity presented itself. Crow provides commentary. Crow provides. I do like the commentary. Voice. Go on. Go on, Ham. Just go on. <laughs> Yeah, it was. How did you? It's okay, bro. I like your cover. This happens to be August twenty seventh, right in the courthouse. What's this newspaper clipping. Let's see. You're in the. Hey, huh? Mur murder. What, what are you reading there? Let me see that. Oh, 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 shit! Oh, god! Wow! I see! Oh. Mia, I think you understand what I'm trying to say. I think I understand why you suddenly took such a keen interest in this case. You believe... You believe there's some connection between these two cases, am I correct? I knew it! I knew she was the murderer! I hope you didn't mind, Mr. Grossberg. My dolly. I need to finish this myself. Ah, yes, but I'm afraid what you have will not be enough, my dear. I'll go and have a look in the downstairs reading room and see what else I can find. He's gonna die. <laughs> Thank you. No, actually, yeah. no, this is not like a murder. Yeah, no problem. He gets out of the phone. Oh, wait, uh, I finally got some time away. Meet me in the meet me in the record room. <laughs> Ten minutes. Oh, ahem. I want to do whatever I can to be of help to you, Mia. Of course, yes. No, I'm... I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yes, I'm Karen carry mentor. Well, well, it looks like recess is about over. That would better all get moving. Uh, uh, good luck, kids. <laughs> I guess so. He just waddles away. That recess sure seemed longer than 20 minutes, though. Get the fucking penguin walk. Yeah, to be continued right now. I just, I just, I just imagine the SpongeBob noise whenever SpongeBob would walk. Wait, 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 You guys think that guy snores? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he has sleep after. Like a definitely. When he, when he <laughs> like snores, a cow. When he snores, yes, his mustache yes, flies up. Yes, he just snores like this. He goes. <laughs> Son of a whore. Court will now reconvene. If you play that fucking sound effect one more time, I will set this whole room on fire. Mr. Payne, please call your witness. This oh. next person is someone who witnessed the crime as it happened. The prosecution calls Miss Dahlia Hawthorne to the stand. <clears throat> I gotta get. Oh my god. Who the fuck? The That's bitch. That's her, it's the lady. There she the is. Oh, oh gross. The butterflies. I don't like her. With the stiff silence. In my really long weird. career as a judge, I have been deceived by many witnesses. <laughs> 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 Why would you say that out loud? Bro. I have been deceived by many witnesses, handed down a lot of false verdicts, probably got a good amount of innocent people killed. <laughs> it's my job to doubt. Don't, don't forget that. Don't forget death threats. Take no one at their word. Don't believe anyone, even if they swear on their mother's grave that they didn't do it. Take your keys. Lock your car. <laughs> but in your case, I must admit that you radiate a glow of complete sincerity. I can't believe. He actually said that. That's fucking damn it. Don't oh, uh, 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 now then, witness, uh, could you please say your uh, full name? 
I... Um... Don't worry, sweetie. There's no need to be nervous. If anyone says anything rude, you'll be sure I'll cut them right down to size! Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Don't mind him. I'm sorry. He's just... He's just an annoying asshole. Yes, what yeah. size? But I, I will bash them with my gavel. You can trust me. I... I love how they look straight at me when they say that. Um... Thank you for calming my nerves. You're all so nice. I almost Point. feel right at home. Not at all! Oh, I, 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 it was nothing. I mean... If we may move on now, what is your full name and occupation? My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I'm in junior in literature at Ivy University. Of course she's in literature. Of course she's in literature. I just want to say, it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. The honor is all mine! Shut the fuck up! Shut up! I mean, the honor is all mine. I am your honor, of course. <laughs> oh my god, no! no. no. Sorry, say the line! No. Say the line! Well, we all know whose milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours, damn right! It's better than yours! Oh my god! Oh my I did god. you, but I have to- Anyway. Oh god, I love the 2000s, they're so cool and hip! Um, sir? Is there something I can help you with, my lady? <laughs> oh my god, muscle man, shut up. Shut, shut up, please. You just go on and say whatever's on your mind. I'm sure that there must be some kind of a mistake. Feeny wouldn't kill anyone. I just know it. <laughs> Feeny. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, yes. Um, I can see why you'd say that. She's going to be a tough witness. It only took her 12 seconds to wrap all around her little finger. Now then, please proceed with your testimony. Let's hear about what you witnessed on the day of the incident, if you please. What I witnessed. I had been planning to go back to Feeny's place after class was over. <laughs> Feeny and... <laughs> Feeny and Dougie... They were talking behind the building. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> then suddenly, Dougie got all wobbly and just collapsed. Dougie Wuggy got all wobbly wobbly. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Jay, are you like being held at gunpoint? <laughs> I hate this. Why are you? Why are you? No, no, no. Are, are you like being held at gunpoint? Why are you so close to your mic? <laughs> I'm trying to have like a softer voice, <laughs> but my oh, mic won't pick it up if I'm too quiet. It oh, sounds like you're being held for a 10k ransom, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I murdered like 20 people. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> oh. Well, I 100% understand the mic thing. Um, That's. Well, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. That's when Feeny noticed that I was there. I went to go and find some other students, and they called the authorities. I don't know what to say. According to you, Miss Hawthorne, the defendant didn't do anything wrong. And I think we should all believe her. Objection! Young lady! As old as I am, even I recall how hot the flames of young passion can burn. Shut no! Up. Shut up! Shut up! Don't fucking... Do, please, don't go into detail. <laughs> Nevertheless... Despite how of amazing fucking stud I am, it's my no, job to discover the truth. Please tell us the truth. Bad at your job. But, but I, I would never. Hold it. There's more than enough witness. More than enough witness. Won't allow this to continue. What do you mean by that? Please just let me produce my cross examination. Your. I, for Here's one, don't plan to win my case on a bunch of paper-thin lies. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. 
Mia Fey. What, what, what? Are you, are you, too, are you too, like, are you too fucking or something? Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> yes, we've met before. Once. Hey, I support it. I'm saying, I'm supporting it. Gay pride, baby. In any case, Miss <laughs> Faye. Like, opens the door a bit like, what about me, huh? What the fuck? Shut up! No one fucking cares about you! You're fucking... Good job, just like, ally. <laughs> This is my street friend, but he's an ally. <laughs> yeah. In any case, Miss Faye, the floor is all yours. Good to see you again, Madam Faye. Madam? I am no one's grandma yet, girly. Ooh, there is beef. The youngest one. No chaotic here. No. Yep. Yeah, there is some there is some beef. Alright. Ham, what are we doing? Hiding from the gay people! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Alright. Press. Yeah, I don't think gay people. Hold it! <laughs> now, unless I'm mistaken, Franny, I mean, Mr. Wright is in the art department? Oh, he's an art <laughs> He's in the art- he, He's an art major? Wait, who? He's an art major. He's an art major doing lawyering on the side. Wow. Dude, I'm an art major. You Dude, I'm taking, no, no, I'm, I'm taking over Phoenix's role since I'm an art major. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, we, okay, okay. So we only take characters that have something I'm close to us in common? Day. If that case, then I... what were you... Go on. If that's the case, then what were you doing by the pharmaceutical... Well... I'm in the literature department. Uh -huh. I'm studying Japanese and Ryu poetry. Oh, really? how wonderful! Ryu? I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that humorous? <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not making fun of your. Uh, I'm not making fun of your pronunciation. Sen Ryu is the correct pronunciation of that. I'm just making Nerd! Fun of okay. Ham. Anyway, um. Oh, <laughs> how wonderful! Is that humorous? That satirical style of haiku? Yes. I mean, I'm more of a fan of Rokugo myself, but you know, I mean, we all have our taste, you know. Ha haiku, like Slayer. Nothing left to do when a man reaches this age. Sleep is his best friend. <gasps> I love it. I, I, I like He's Slayer. calling you old. He does haikus. That's supposed to be poetry. I like Sounds like haiku. more like a midlife crisis. For so me to get to the go? art department, I have to walk through that back area. Ah, yes, I see. That makes sense. Yeah. When I want, when I want to enter the courthouse, I always walk through the front doors. What else would you enter? A teleportation? <laughs> you don't know. Also, Ham, I thought you said I'm losing my spot to a gay. <laughs> no, I said I'm not losing. I'm not losing my spot to a gay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, even better. <laughs> Hold it! So who is oh my this God. Dougie person? Oh, I'm sorry. Doug Swallow. We were dating until about eight months ago. How long were you dating before that? So what were you... What were... What were... Um, were Dougie... <clears throat> Mr. <Huh>? Swallow <laughs> and Mr. Wright talking about anything? How can you be so mean? I what? I would never I would never eavesdrop. Oh my fucking The audacity, man. I wasn't raised to be so rude and unrefined. You weren't raised at all, Father. That's you right, know. Miss Faye! Don't be mean to her! Shut the fuck up. Don't drag the witness down to your level! I asked a question! Why am I being demonized here? Welcome to my world, Starry. It doesn't it suck. Please go on. What would you see next? <laughs> These butterflies can, kill can, can the sheriff shoot the butterfly? Trying first? to say that the victim collapsed on his own. Yes. In other words, the defendant never touched the victim. Is that right? I was watching the whole time. Feeny never did a thing to Dougie. I 
this hurt for no good reason. I just, I just know the judge will be angry with me. But that contradicts the, um, so what should I do with her testimony? Uh, contradiction. Slam. Feeble lies are not very becoming, Miss Hawk. Let us drop them, shall we? What? I... I would never... Objection! Uh... Miss Faye, I will not allow you to badger this witness! Mm -hmm. I, I believe the defense is engaged in a, a fishing expedition. What the fuck am I even saying? Mm -hmm. That is... Uh, she has no supporting... Uh, I wanna pee pee myself! Uh... <laughs> Now then, Miss Hawk. The defendant, or the defendant's palm prints were found on Mr. Shallow's other jacket. It has already been shown that Mr. Rock did, in fact, push the victim. What? There's no need to try and cut for the defendant. It would have been much better if you came out and told us the whole truth. Mm. There's nothing to worry about, young lady. Just tell us everything that you saw. Yes. This is bullshit. Honor, I will, if you don't mind. I, I'd like to revise my testimony. Looks like we're going to be getting some. Um. Actually, I didn't see the moment he pushed Dougie. Is it? Hold it! And you didn't see it? Well, I saw the moment when Dougie fell to the ground. And at that time, there was only the two of them at the scene. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, and the victim, Doug Swallow? Yes, that's right. Wait. It says she didn't hear anything unusual, but there was a very loud thing, right? Yeah. Well, uh, we present Phoenix's... What's it called? Statement? Or whatever? Yeah. OBJECTION! You say you didn't hear anything unusual. Is that correct? Yes. That's why I was very relaxed, looking at the scenery around me. Well, when she hits her face... Bid. That's nice, but I find that a bit a little odd. I have here the testimony of your boyfriend, Phoenix Wright. And he clearly testifies the effect to the effect. That when he pushed the victim over, he heard a la uh, he heard a, sh a sharp loud noise. He said that? <laughs> you were really that close to the two of them? Why didn't you hear that this noise as well? And don't play the objection. Well, I maybe mean, the noise just wasn't all that memorable. Objection! But according to Mr. Wright's testimony, it was a sharp noise, like a snap. There is no way a noise like that could could fail to make an impression. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, may I have a moment to answer? Oh, oh, by all means. I know the reason why I didn't hear the noise. You see, the truth is, I had my headphones on and I was listening to music at the time. Motherfucker. He he headphones? You mean that your both of your ears were covered? The rain was just beginning to let up. But it seemed as though Thor wasn't ready for his fun to come to an end yet. So the sky continued to flash and rumble. Thunder and lightning, huh? Yes, I'm afraid of the sound of thunder. So I put my headphones on to block it out. <laughs> well, your honor... As you can see, there weren't any contradictions in your testimony after all! There was, you idiot! God, man. 
Wait a second, Mia. This, that is, that testimony just now. She said something could totally change this whole case. Uh. Didn't they say it was like a light rain? It was lightning. Your Honor, thing. there's a problem with the witness testimony. But what do you mean? Didn't you notice? She w said there was lightning, correct? Oh, yeah, what about it? Well, lightning is actually a large dis discharge of electricity in Athmore, am I right? Now's not the time for a science lesson, Miss Faith. I want to fucking go that I'd watch Bill Nye. Go do that, then. Bill Nye, oh. the science guy. All right. I'll back. Yes. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Anyway, since the cause of death was electrocution, isn't that a problem that the victim died from being hit by a bolt of lightning? Whoa! Ah! Damn, Jesus! God really did not like the Brits, do they? Well, I must admit that <laughs> God did not occur to me. God kill the queen. Anyways. <laughs> Just what kind of thought do a thought do occur to this guy? I wonder what I should get on my sandwich today. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this entire case is built on the premise that, that Mr. Doug Swallow was murdered but this very premise itself is mistaken the defense believes that mr swallow was in fact the victim of a stray lightning stray bolt well how does this work do we do we like put god on trial or something can we do that <laughs> uh, can we put Thor on trial or maybe it's yeah. I called it the- I called the next, uh, <laughs> witness call for son to the stand. Yes, well, my brother Loki was trying to get into a fist fight with me, and, well, ha ha, oh, I'm Chris Hemsworth. Uh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 uh, Norse mythology Thor. Oh. One of the Thors. Well, One that drinks a lot and is actually a bastard. Ah. Uh, or well. Odin's son, son of Odin. It appears the defense may be onto something. <laughs> Mia Fadison, son of Faye. Could it, <laughs> could it be that the death was accidentally accidental? Accidental. All right, you did it, Mia. I'm objection. I didn't even get to finish my line. <laughs> Not so, not so fun when it happens to you, is it? <laughs> and now I get to be the one to interrupt people and be annoying. <laughs> I didn't get a favorite light, like, you bitch. I'm hurt that you have such a low opinion of me, Miss Faye. We all have a fucking low opinion of you. It's not You're fucking news. Douchebag. Nobody what? likes it's you. I'm gonna get worse from here, bald man. I'm not a fool, you know. The prosecution has done its research, Your Honor. We found that there were no lightning strikes on that day at that location! What's more, we have evidence that the electrical cable is definitely linked to this case. Evidence, Mr. Payne? What is this evidence? This affidavit. Hey, who is this affidavit from? The pharmacology students who were conducting the experiments in the lab oh, that day. Jesus. Sorry, I had seltzer before I got here. You know, got the burpees. Allow me to okay, read you to the up. court the He's testimony. He's never referred to them as burpees ever again. <laughs> Allow me to read out the court the testimony of the pharmacology students. All equipment in the labs lost power and all of a sudden around 3 p.m. that day. See, you guys like my voice impression? No. No. Is that no. Phoenix? No, we don't. <laughs> Was it a blackout? All the lab's equipment runs on high voltage, Your Honor. So, you're saying the equipment lost power because... Precisely. They lost power because of the severed electrical cable! The power outage occurred approximately 3 p.m. Which fits with the time of death listed in that autopsy report. Exactly! In other words... And then now pull out the thing of his watch? 
The victim died as a result of touching the severed electrical cable. I'm 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 a hundred percent guessing now the watch thing is gonna come. God, why is Pay talking so much? My voice is getting fucking raspy. According to the students, the cables are very old. Like you, Your Honor. Fuck you. <laughs> they were planning on thirties. Planning on having them replaced in the near future. Hmm, I see. Apparently the cables become so brittle that even the smallest bump would have caused them to break. 255. Uh, th there's one thing that troubles me, though. If the cable could have been broken by any small bump, it wouldn't have snapped if it hadn't been bumped into, correct? W well, I, I suppose you could say that. Miss mm. Faye, do you have any thoughts regarding the cause of the severed cable? You're... Your Honor, I don't like how this is looking one bit. I have to come up with something to try and regain some momentum. If I, ple if it pleases the court, the defense would like to s to state its opinion. Well oh. then, let's hear it. Who or what was it that caused the cable to break? Oh. I need to look at fucking photos. Um, uh, it could have been him. Umbrella. It could have been umbrella. The umbrella. Well, he said it's something as a simple bump. Phoenix, Phoenix could have accidentally bumped him into the pole. Yeah. Yeah, but he had his uh, okay, umbrella out, so I'm guessing it's the umbrella. Why would the umbrella cause it to break, though? The well, the umbrella is break. also like bent. Yeah. Alright, then it's probably Phoenix. That do shove. Alright. The third year Wait, art that. student. Your Honor, please, uh, think this back to Mr. Wright's testimony. The defendant's testimony? He looks so happy in that photo. Yeah, I'm a gleeful <laughs> But that after he pushed the victim, he heard a, sh a loud, sharp noise. Now, this happened around 3 p.m., correct? Oh, yeah, that sounds about right. Wait, are you saying that? The lab equipment lost power at 2.55, which fits right in with Mr. Wright's timeline. In other words, it was Mr. Wright's shove that caused the power out. God damn. This is a walking problem, isn't it? Yes! The prosecution also came to that same conclusion. I totally knew that all from the beginning. I'm such a genius. I'm so, I'm so smart. He's like, he's like those people who like will say, um, will say it's like during a game of guessing things. So after one person says something, they'll repeat it. Yeah, it's pretty. That's good. like, oh my god, that's like my fucking grandma. Whenever we'd watch Wheel of Fortune, they would like <laughs> guess it and then she'd say it, and she's like, I got it. <laughs> And it was She's that like, I win. very I shove win. that caused Mr. Swallow to be electrocuted! Objection! I'm afraid I can't agree with that there, Mr. Payne. What's that supposed to mean? You're making fun of me! Take a look at where the victim landed after being shoved. See the umbrella? It's by the electric pole. That's right! The victim banged into that pole as a result of being pushed. It was the impact that caused caused the br cable to break. Mm. Well, that makes sense, and the victim was electrocuted. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but no, it doesn't make sense at all. If the victim was shoved into the far pole, then he couldn't have been electrocuted by this severed cable in the for foreground here. Ah! <laughs> in other words, someone other than my client must have electrocuted the victim. The girl who is currently testifying with a weird... Order! Order in the court! Ah, the laments of my enemies. How I long to hear that. It's true. The defense is absolutely correct. There doesn't seem to be any way the defendant could have done it. Um, Mr. Judge, sir, may I say something? 
Oh god, you. The Madam Attorney's explanation. She said some things that are a little different than I remember them. What, 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 what? What the? Please, just once more. May I please testify one last time? Please, Mr. Judge? Oh, of course it's alright. Just go right ahead and give your new testimony. Don't need to be shy, come on. Ren? Sorry. That's- this is it? She's finally starting to show her true colors. Oh boy. Truth is, Feeny pushed him twice. The first twice. time was into the electrical pole. That's when the cable broke. Then Dougie tried his best to run away from him. But Feeny caught up and crashed into him from behind. Yes, the very the cable, s <laughs> the cable snapping and Dougie being electrocuted. It all occurred in less than a minute. Mm. So after being shoved, the victim got up and tried to run away. And that is when the defendant pushed him for the second time. I'm so sorry, Feeny. But I just, I have to tell the truth. Am I doing the right thing? Am I Mr. Judge? Well, you're putting one of the most annoying people in this courtroom in, a, in jail, so yes. Yes, hey! of, course. of course you are, my dear. As painful as it may seem, you are. Now then, Miss Faye. Okay. You, you pursued a cross-examination, I don't fucking care. For God, man. Black ass hell. The truth is, she needs to spread that is different than his fucking testimony. Can we present his testimony here? I feel like we should. I don't know. Is it first? Alright. Hold it! Miss Hawthorne, previously in your testimony, follow it. Actually, I didn't see the moment he was pushed. He pushed Dougie. You know, I'm. I'm sorry. I wanted to protect Feeny. So is that why you basically lied to the court? I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the same person. The same. Uh, first case. Every first case. First I, case right? I'm just gonna. I was bad. I know. Um, <laughs> Mr. Judge. Yeah. Would you please? Oh, God. Please forgive little old me. Of course he won't. What did? Oh come! Now. It was just a little old white lie. We all we all tell we all tell a little fib every now and then. Like for example, I'll tell you right now. I think Mr. Payne is a very good person. Oh well, thank you, Your Honor. Oh wait a minute. Oh. We'll forget it this time, but please be more careful from now on, all right? Thank you so much, Mr. Judge. No, not at all. <laughs> Got me all blushing now. I'm all bashful. The judge had Fucking better... the, drug... the judge had better be more careful himself. A darker guy <laughs> than that girl. Uh, What's the next one? Actually, yeah, next was the next one. Press. Hold it! So let me get this straight. You were happily listening on your while watching while you watched this scene unfold. Objection! <laughs> Miss Faye, I'll have to ask you to stop badgering the witness. Um, I wasn't happy. I was so scared that I couldn't even move. All I could do was stand there and cheer oh, them on. What? What the actual fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I love it because I wasn't happy. I was cheering them on. Cheer them on? What do you mean by that? Well, 
I wish the best for them both. What? Uh, they would give each give the fight their all. Is she a uh, fucking psychopath? <laughs> like, oh, she's a sadist. I think she's a sociopath. That's, that's very sweet of you to be so supportive. I think she's a sociopath. And what happened after that? One of them die. <laughs> What's the uh, next one? Er, uh, yeah. Then. I doubt I that. Snap, Dougie being electrocuted and careless in the Wait, go back to the last one. Yeah, we didn't do that one yet. Breath. Hold it! That doesn't sound quite right. There's was handprints found on the chest of the victim's leather jacket. Mr. Payne, were do you also were there also prints found on the back of his leather jacket? Well, um, uh, no, there weren't. Madam Fay, may I suggest that you listen a little <sighs> more carefully? Dude, this you the audacity push. of this bitch, man. You Holy said shit. push twice. You said push twice. I said that he crashed into him from behind. Right? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> My Feeny wouldn't leave any prints behind in that case, would he? Ugh. It feels- Just I feel like such a bitch go. reading these lines, but I want to add to the wait, atmosphere no, in the mood. Twice? Go back and look uh, at she, said, she said crash, she said crash. She crashed, it crashed? Fucking hell! Did that there, one, because his go. thing said 305. Miss 305. Yeah. <laughs> the 305 and Walmart. <laughs> okay, what, like one second. My... Trent really didn't like that one. Okay, maybe one <laughs> second. I need to switch to my phone because my computer's No, gone. as soon as I said that, I was like, wait. Uh, <laughs> Miss 305, Miss the Walmart. He said 305 and I caught up to it. Said, <laughs> All right. Well, in the meantime, Ham. Uh... I'm back now. Welcome back. <laughs> What would you like yeah, to do? In the meantime, Ham, do fucking nothing. <laughs> that out. one. Press. Or press. Hold it! Did you actually witness the moment the victim was electrocuted? I, I'm sorry. I didn't actually see it. I, I turned my eyes away. That's understandable. Mm, yes, indeed. It would have been a horrific sight for anyone to behold. If I don't figure out the con contradiction here, it's all over. I think you have to present, like, the picture with his watch on that I'm last thing. I'm thinking that too, the time! Um... She please. didn't have much time to come up with her lies, so this is my best chance. There must be a hole in her testimony somewhere. Think, Mia! So, you guys want to present the, um... I want to present the photo of the watch. Well, Pam, do you want to present the photo of the watch? <laughs> we shall present the photo of the watch. <laughs> photo of the watch! <laughs> photo of the watch! Photo of the watch! That's enough, witness. I'm afraid I don't understand. You will have... You will, in a minute. Could you please take a look at this photo? Oh, that medicine. That's the one Feeny likes to take for his cold. That's n it's not the medicine I want you to look at. I was right! Yes. I knew this would come up. I, it's the wristwatch. I am smart. I am on a roll today. <laughs> it's supposed to be at a precise time. The victim was electrocuted. In other words, 305. It's 305, Mr. Wolfpack. <laughs> yeah, and your point is, Miss Faye? My point is... The time was when the lab suffered the electrocution... The blah, blah, blah. What time was it when the lab suffered that power outage during the cable snapping? Well, according to the student's testimony, the answer is clear. It was 255! Would you care to explain the, 
to the court, Miss H Dahlia Hawthorne. That was exactly happened during that 10 minute interval. The defense pr proposes that. During the interval that that the real murderer killed Mr. Doug Swallow. The real murderer? Oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bro, uh, no, order! Huh? Order in the court! What is this? Ob objection! Are you, are you fucking serious? Did you just fucking interrupt me? <laughs> You're old. This is nonsense! <laughs> the real. The real murderer? Objection! Even you can't deny that the time between cable breaking and the electrocution are completely un uncounted for. Objection! And who was it? Who else are you saying could have done it? There's only one person who could have murdered Mr. Swallow. Only after my client had left the scene. Was that the window of opportunity for the real killer? Miss Faye, is the fence ready to indict someone as the real killer? Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's finally time pushes up. Into the last yes, Your Honor. We are ready. Very well. Or remember. If you accuse the wrong person, you will be penalized. Think very carefully before you speak, Miss Faye. Miss Goddamn Hawthorne. Now, Miss Faye, let's have it. Who is the real killer? Who's working with me? Himself. Lightning. Uh, yeah, it was himself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He just walked into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's all this then? <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just, he stood up, brushed himself off. Oh, man, fuck you, Phoenix. Wait, Forget what is you know, You're not getting smooched anymore. Say. Turned around. Oh, what's... I'm sorry, Wait, what was that, Red? What, what does Payne's description say? I don't know what it says. Oh, my God, he's 49. I wasn't even... I was a joke. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Holy Wait, but you look at their ages. Ooh. Okay. Payne's 49. Grossberg's 61. Oh, okay, I, that tracks. Not look that old. Phoenix Wright's as old as I am. That's. Oh cool. my gosh, wait, we're both 21 year old art majors. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool! And Doug Swallow is. Shut the fuck up, Trent. That was older. sarcastic. Oh. oh, okay. And Dahlia's 20. That's. Alright. Oh, yeah, by the way, she's a real murderer or something. Alright. Yeah. Take that! Could only have been you, Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> how? How can you? Objection! The defense is grasping at straws. Ten minutes passed between that cable broke and the time of the electrocution. What exactly were you doing the d doing that whole time, Miss Hawthorne? Were you really listening to? Some music while cheering them on, cheering them both on as they fought. I find that hard to believe that you didn't lift a finger to stop the men dearest to you. She's kind of a psychopathic bitch. Order, order, Miss Faye. But what? I mean, what? That's to say. Miss Hawthorne, I believe that you did witness the two men fighting on that day, however. After Mr. Wright pushed the victim, subconsciously left the scene. It was you who pushed Mr. Swallow to his death by your own hands. Own two little grunts. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just hear the fucking senior pillow fucking... <laughs> God, dude. That's you. That's what you're doing. How can how can you say something so mean, Madam Faye? I I didn't do anything. Yeah. Miss Faye, this is a very serious. Are you oh, fucking kidding me? Did I say that? Did I say that? You motherfucker! <laughs> oh no. Water. 
Please, I have something I want to say. I will fucking rip your nuts off. Are you serious? You fucking in I swear to God, I'm just so fucking dead. I'm sorry. I take back my compliment about you being 30. Not the little and you. <laughs> what? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, what is so possibly so fucking important that you had to uh, just run in here, guns a blazing, interrupting my fucking talking? What is it? The ice cream truck is outside. <laughs> oh, okay. Please, please strike everything the defense said j just now for the record. Oh. What the? Are you gas? You're totally wrong, Miss Faye. Holy. Couldn't do something like that. She couldn't. Mr. Wright, get back in your seat! Bailiff, no. grab that man! Oh, I won't let it. <laughs> oh god, your honor is getting all his fucking cooties on me! Oh god, it's so gross! Give me the syphilis. Nice sleeve. That boy. that boy. Oh, oh, that boy. He's gotten himself in way over his head. I love that Beatles song. That boy's so Yeah, good. I'm back. It, it took longer than usual because white. Uh, I, uh, um, I mean, I. Hemorrhoids or yeah. something. Uh, <laughs> 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 hemorrhoids or something. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. Cool. Um, It seems I arrived just in the nick of time. I found the police report on that incident in your newspaper clipping. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I was hoping for. You're welcome. You better take a good look at it. It, uh, details how you came to lose your boyfriend. Oh. Damn, that's a fucking plot twist. Jesus Christ. This is kind of coming out of left field. Uh, whatever. Uh, now then, the defense has made a very serious accusation. Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? <laughs> Uh, well, really, Your Honor, I, 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 that is, I, uh, 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 there we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> May I interrupt you for just a moment, Mr. Prosecutor? Oh, God, it smells so bad, I regret doing that. <laughs> Don't worry, my dear. I have this situation well in hand. <laughs> No, don't. Oh, oh uh, is that, uh, that is, I, um, go right ahead. Don't listen to the, don't listen to the fartsy wartsy idiot. Madam Faye, are you seriously accusing me of killing my sweet Dougie? You're a whore. Yes, I am. <laughs> Not only I, am I, I saying you murdered Doug Swallow, <laughs> But you also tried to pin the whole thing on your current lover, Phoenix Wright. OBJECTION! I told you that you should let me handle this. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, please, please go right ahead. Oh. How can you say that? I'm absolutely devoted to my dear Feeny. The notion that I would try to frame him is ludicrous. This is all just too much for poor little me to bear. Oh my god. I about it harder, wench! Jesus, like, god, she is fishing. Fucking fishing, no. man. No. I'm... <laughs> it's so funny. I also, believe... yes, I was laughing at you, him. Yeah, I believe the girl is trying to ask what on earth her motive would be. The answer is... So that lies is somewhere in this place for more. It must be. Eight months ago, on an incident occurred in the basement of the cap the in the basement cafeteria of this building. And then and then so the same day, the two of them accidentally meet. Your honor. The defense requests further testimony from Des Des Dahlia Hawthorne. Further testimony? What about? About the events of the day when she met met the defend met the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Objection! What could that possibly have to do with that case? Ob 
Objection! The witness claims that she has no reason to frame the defendant. Am I correct? Well, I have evidence that suggests that she in fact had good reason. Very well then. The court grants the defense's request. Young lady, would you mind staying on for just a bit longer? Of course not, Mr. Judge. Get ready for the battle of your life, Dahlia Hawthorne. How I met my Feeny. <laughs> <laughs> I met your mother. Feeny eight months ago. It's like we were destined to meet in this very courthouse's basement reading room. How romantic. The moment our eyes met, my heart skipped a beat. We've been going out ever since that fateful day. Pam, that's you. Oh, I gotta say that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're so... Lo uh, We're so <laughs> lovey-lovey. We literally make people sick. I'll see. I think. <laughs> Mr. Wright, do that again and you will be held in contempt of court. You guys. He said do that again and you'll get shot. I will fuck, what a fucking god. You're such a fucking simp, man. You, you're you like an unbelievable amount of simp. You're like the kind of fucking simps that like tier three subs on Twitch. Like, you're that kind. Twitch. Hey, your honor, I have tier three subs on uh, Twitch too. Does that make me a simp? Do, do I even need to fucking answer that? Of course it does. <laughs> like, you're, 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 you're even subscribed to my Twitch channel? You're, you're oh, fucking... Oh. Oh my god, you have a Twitch channel? I'm, what's, what's your tag? I mean, I, I'm using your Shut up! <laughs> and now we enter the final act of our. As we used to say in the days of my youth, go get her. Huh? Yeah, whatever. Go, go get her, tiger. I don't know. Alright. Um. That's I... correct. That's correct. Oh no, hello. Oh, no, I know who left. Oh. <laughs> Next. Um. Next. Come back. Next. I, I think we should ask her on why was she at the courthouse? These are- I wish there was like a way to ask uh. Why were you at the courthouse? Uh, yeah, at that one. Yeah, why were you here? Hold it! Yeah. This is the courthouse reading room? That's a strange place to meet the love of your life. It's not true, Madam Faye. After all, Feeney was... Feeney was not only an art student, but he was also planning on becoming a lawyer. Why were you here? I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you, Miss Hawthorne. What was a literary student doing in a courthouse reading room? OBJECTION! This line of questioning is a waste of time. It has nothing to do with our murder case. Miss Faye, I'm warning you. If this has nothing to do with Mr. Swallow's case... I have to remember the judge is on Dahlia's side. I remember to tread carefully. Keep pressing. No, no, fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Your Honor, if you will allow me some latitude, I think I can establish a revelation. Please ask her to continue with, on with her testimony. Well, very well. Young lady, I've got a simple question for you. What were you doing downstairs in the courthouse reading room? If it pleases your honor, the, ample <laughs> the answer is simply this. Read it. <laughs> I had come to this courthouse to, to do some research for a paper I was writing. Paper on what? You think we should look at that police yeah. report? Yeah, let's look at it. Well, you, you can look at it. Yeah. Location. Um. 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 Suspect. Shoe suspect. Uh. Ingested uh, poison. Poison while interviewing the suspect regarding another case. Traces of poison were found in the victim's coffee cup. No poison was found in the vicinity or on the suspect's person. It is unclear. Wait! Wait! The poison in the vial on the necklace! The poison in the vial of the necklace! Oh, that makes sense. Wait, can you read, like, the newspaper clip? 
Oh, right, yeah. Where is that it? Have it? Uh, right here. Yeah. Can we read it? Very little- I'm Very little information is being disclosed at this time since the victim of yesterday's incident in the district courthouse cafeteria is said to have been a lawyer. However, police are questioning the 19-year-old uh, female college student who was sitting with the victim. Alright, well, very clearly she wasn't there to write a fucking paper. I mean, that's- that, that much is obvious. So, yeah. let's go. Check the police report. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Objection! Objection, you whore. Miss Hawthorne, you were he here because of your research paper, were you? Didn't you actually come here to have mu for a much more important reason? Objection! Objection! What is the meaning of that cocky smile on your face, Miss Fee? Eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse, there is another tragedy. Another tragedy? Do you mean the incident in which an attorney was poisoned? Well, it may or may not have been your boyfriend? Eight months ago on August 24th? <laughs> the name you of the suspect again. on the incident listed... The name of the suspect in that incident is listed here. And that name is Dahlia Hawthorne. What? It's a Dahlia Hawthorne? Yes, the sweet... The sweetie pie of everyone's eye, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. She was, she was the prime suspect in a criminal case just eight months ago. Oh damn! Look at this bitch is crazy. I'm just gonna say right now. Order, order, order! This, this is unbelievable. It's true that the loveliest rose can add the objection. I'm gonna <laughs> off a bridge. In a trunk! I swear to God, Mr. Payne! It's <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. Miss Fay, that's not fair! I wanted a contradiction! You can't slander my witness with an unrelated case! Actually, a Polyon dialogue? Actually, just a Polyon dialogue? Yeah, fuck it. Father, it's not fair! <laughs> Did he say that during the trial? I think he I did so. straight up say that at one point, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um... You have the video. <laughs> I, Winston Payne, will not allow it! Mr. Prosecutor, I believe I was speaking. Whoa. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Pardon me, go right ahead. I'm a beta male. I have to, I have to be subservient. <laughs> it's true that about eight months ago, the police expressed some interest in me. You were prime sex mate in a murder case! Express some interest, huh? What, are you taking him out to dinner or something? <laughs> Mr. Judge, sir, I know I'm under oath, so I'll tell you the absolute truth. I did not commit the crime that occurred during that incident eight months ago. I will grab you know what that reminds me of that dialogue right there? It's like in fucking Fallout where you'll ask a guy, you'll talk to them and they'll be like, we do not feast on human flesh no under no circumstances. <laughs> and then there's just human flesh in the basement. I see. <clears throat> okay. I've tried two crime I've tried two crimes together. Now I just gotta stay on the offensive. Well done, Mia! Oh, you really need a fire in my heart <laughs> and my <laughs> and my ass! I... <laughs> Great fires of Hades are burning in my fucking rectum. Go get him, girl. I, hate you. I, hate you. I can hardly tell which is more inflamed, my <laughs> spirit or my hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Shut the fuck oh. up, Brody. Oh my god, Crow. he had them. He had them sugar-free Haribo gummy bears, bro. <laughs> I met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. I left my seat for just a moment, and that's when it happened. From what I heard, it was a liquid poison that is lethal at just two teaspoons. How would you know that? How would you know it? Oh my god. Dude. Dude, this is fucking... Not only that, I heard that it was this very special it... kind of poison. Is it Trechoto toxin? So you god. see, I was... Innocent. I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. Do you know everything about it? The black market. You seem I to know. know. <laughs> I know that it has a greenish tint. 
<laughs> they know that. I know it's in a heart. I know it's completely bottle. odorless and can be ingested, and that it takes effect in around thirty minutes or so. I know that it involves two teaspoons. You're going into a lot of detail, but I'm not going to look into that. Chemical makeup. So looking at the bonds of the chemical makeup, basically, <laughs> it starts. Wait, with... you know where she could have made it? She could have like either made learned how to make it at the lab at the pharmaceutical place because they had a lot of. Chemicals. That's why she was with Dougie. She, she or... gives you the recipe yes, on how to make it. it. You see, look at it. I wouldn't have any. Of the... <laughs> I wouldn't have any this of the ingredients to make it. Been a lawyer. So like, that's what happened here eight months ago. It's not like it's not like I went to a shady <laughs> laboratory in Brazil and paid this guy to make me poison. <laughs> However, as you heard from the witness's testimony, she has nothing to do with it and is completely innocent. I think the defense is just about out of tricks. It's not like that she went to completely fucking specific detail about what the poison is. Come on. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Payne. But I'm afraid the defense has many more tricks up its sleeve today. And I'll be sure to show them to you before the end of the cross-examination. Oh, wait, shit, she did! Oh, God, I wasn't paying attention! Oh, what, what the... Why does the defense suddenly feel stronger? Her power level, it's accelerating! Ugh, impossible! How could you beat me? Ah, Mia, you're gr really only oh, no. fucking Dragon Ball. You're glowing with a true lawyer's aura, my dear. It's you some power, my dear. It's my dear. Uh, fuck, you know. It's like you've stopped holding back. This power inside of you—it's overflowing. It's almost as if you've become the legendary Superwoman. <laughs> The proud posture and self-confidence, absolutely smashing. I'm gonna don't say it. That. I'm gonna say it. Oh, don't. Like my. Oh. Wait. Anyway, we going to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. Uh, next. That was my student. That's what happened. Next. Yes. Can we point out the fact that you know? Hold it. About how much liquid is two teaspoons? Uh, well, let me see. Mm. My bottle of eye drop says it's a half fluid ounce, which is equal to three teaspoons. So about two thirds of the amount. The poison was found in the lawyer's mug of coffee. It must have been after it left the table. Someone must have quietly slipped it in there. You did that, my love. Uh, not only that, her press. Hold it! A special kind of poison. How so? Well, I heard that it's almost impossible to detect. Why do you know all of this? <laughs> I overheard it. <laughs> really? No, wait, 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 no, hold on, hold on. I can actually, okay, it's gonna be weird. I can vouch for her as a literature student if she's writing fiction. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Now. As someone yeah. who was looking up recipes to make literal chemical reactions for chloroform. Yeah. And she's a literature student. I knew it! I know! I was about to say chloroform! I fucking knew it! <laughs> and where I would- I know hard. how to make chloroform. Where would someone like that come from? <laughs> I'm sorry. All I know is what I overheard the policeman saying. They said something about using advanced chemical processes to purify it. Why did you say that? Chemical processes? Well, well, that's, uh, that's quite... Impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> <laughs> the better question is, how did the criminal get something like that? Diego was involved with the cartel. Well, I would like to bring up, by the way, I like how she's just literally like, like I'm just an English major, I'm making stories and stuff. By the way, these are the exact ingredients <laughs> and racks. How to make <laughs> methylamine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, 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 how, that's how writers just, are. I'm just a literature. I'm just a literature major with a chemistry mind in there. I wish you could get a biochem minor. <laughs> oh my god! Biochem minor and then criminology on the side. Okay, <laughs> a double I'm minor. Pull out 
uh, um, so I'm innocent, I wouldn't even know where to get that poison. Because she literally was dating a guy who was yes. in a lab of chemicals. Yes. Ready? Yes. Go get him. OBJECTION! You're gay. I am. <laughs> you wouldn't know where to get that kind of poison. I don't believe you. You're a fat fucking lion. What? You fat fucking lion. In fact, you had an easy access to that kind of poison, didn't you? At your boyfriend's lab. B boyfriend You mean the victim, Doug Swallow? No, I mean that's, that's right. Up until eight months ago, Miss Miss Halfthorn and Mr. Swallow were dating. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. And if you recall, Mr. Swallow was a pharmaceutical student at Ivy University. F f f f fuck my asshole! <laughs> oh my, what the fuck? <laughs> His laboratory contained highly advanced, highly advanced chemistry equipment. How the fuck did you Walter White? In fact, without <laughs> such equipment, the culprit could have never obtained such a rare and special poison. But I don't know. Have form, it seems you have access to such poison after all. And then it's a matter of slipping it into the victim's coffee when he wasn't looking. The only person who could have done it was the one sitting, one sitting at his table. You. <laughs> no. Order, order, order. He? I'm catching. I said it, Baseless Aki! Can you say something, Madam Faye? Okay, I'm just being talked over at this point. Alright, being ignored. Cool. You, you do it to the judge, shut up! What is it, Miss Hathor? You're a bit. The, so the amount of poison in the coffee was two teaspoons, correct? In order to carry that much liquid, you need some kind of <laughs> container. Well, well, yeah, that's true. I was searched immediately after the incident took place. Quite true. In fact, the entire courthouse was turned upside down. I remember it. I was like eating a sandwich and they're like, you strip down. I'm like, uh, <laughs> okay, <I> but <laughs> just know I don't swing that way. And they just fucking smack me in the face. <laughs> it hurt. No one but they one didn't one. find a suspicious container anywhere, did they? I wonder if actually has a wife. She's right. They even mentioned that in the report. Well, you could have easily gotten rid of something that small. Excuse me, madam, but this is a court of law. If you're saying I threw the poison container away, I think you need to show some kind of proof. The god I think you need to shut up. Proof. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait. No. Real quick, real, real quick. I would like to mention that Payne actually does have a wife and daughter. Provide some yeah, evidence, or I'll have to disallow the line of questioning, Miss Faye. I Why am I always the characters that have such bitchy lines? I don't you know. Can... Unless <laughs> we can come I'm up with some- kill you. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill Crow, you, Crow, one day. Shut the fuck up! Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, no, I was talking to you. Um, unless we can come up with some evidence, we're going to lose this lead. The police conduct a full body search of Dahlia and the entire courthouse. And yet the container holding the poison disappeared, right? It's the goddamn necklace! How are you not what are you talking to, to Crow? If you're gonna accuse the young lady of committing the murder, then where is the container the poison was carried in? What happened to it? The fucking necklace! The fucking necklace! Take that! I love her. You were forced to get rid of the container in a hurry, weren't you? And that's why you passed it into someone else, to someone that had nothing to do with the case. Someone that you knew wouldn't be searched. Who is this person? Mr. Phoenix Wright, of course. OBJECTION! So the defendant was the witness's accomplice? Of course not. Look at this dumb bitch. She gave him the poison- She gave him the poison to disguise as a present. What? Hmm. <laughs> That's a charming little necklace. Very innocent looking too. 
Is that a little bottle? Oh, that's just adorable. I wonder what you could carry inside of it. <laughs> so what about it? What does it mean? What does this innocent little bottle mean, Miss Faye? The day that the witness met and fell for a phoenix, right, was eight months ago. August 27th. The very same day the, the poison was in the poisoning incident. Under the pretenses of love, the witness gave my client a present. All for the purpose of hiding one piece of evidence that would give her away. What? Are you saying there's a deadly poison in here? No, there's no longer any poison in that bottle. However, I am certain if the, the crime lab were to analyze it, then it would find a trace amount. Looks like blue raspberry flavor. That sounds good. <laughs> it can look how yummy power tastes. <laughs> Order! Order cool. in the court! Order! Uh, uh, um... Bro's fucking that dumbass just walks up like mm, raspberry color and <laughs> taste. What the? <laughs> the poison. That's me again. I'll be- <laughs> It's me! Again! We have a oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mr. Wright, control yourself! I won't let you bully her like this. Mr. Wright, I thought I told you to stay in your seat. Mr. Wright, why? Why are you going through so much trouble to protect her? I... As... As I... No. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I'm madly in love with her! Do I get a punch <laughs> <point> one? <laughs> madly in love. I haven't heard anyone say that in a long time. Oh. <laughs> right, have you ever thought, th thought about this? Why exactly would a woman like Dolly <laughs> Hawthorne want to get her? God <laughs> damn! Um, <laughs> Mia's Jesus! Going Mia's going after people's throats today. Well, I guess you must be madly in love with me too. No, no, I can't confirm. Can't confirm? At this point in the trial, I think it should be obvious to everyone. The real reason that Dahlia Hawthorne is dating you? Because of the necklace. Um, necklace. Dolly Hawthorne was not was not and is madly and not madly in love with you. The only thing she is after is the bottle of necklace you wear around your neck. Necklace? Back in the waiting room you said it yourself. Oh yeah, she just gives a sigh every time I see her. She always says the same thing to me. You give it back now. <laughs> oh, a strange girl asking for a present like that. Oh. oh. That is after oh, she gave all, it to me. Give it back. Warned that necklace is in, in irrefutable. Thank you. Irrefutable evidence of her crime. <gasps> <gasps> and he's still sitting on. Shut up. Go on. I'm twine. That's why she's absolutely had to get it back. Fuck you, Ham. I thought you were about to just say, I'm 12. <laughs> I'm 16. You're lying. But you never gave it back to her. And to make it w things worse for her, you insisted it on showing it to everyone you met. That's why she. No. I don't believe. Oh, that's a lie! Ah! He gets! Mia, are you alright? Oh, you're finished! He's getting away! Bailiff, hurry after him! Alright, go, I'll get him! Oh, skedaddle! <laughs> you hear like cartoon scat skedaddle fence? <laughs> Mia! Oh, Jesus Christ! Are you alright? Yes, I think so. That boy, he went completely nuts! Jesus! Where, where's Mr. Wright? It looks like the bailiff caught him, so he should be back soon enough. You just fucking shot him with a taser. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. 
Uh, oh no. What is it? Blue. The bottle necklace, Miss Hath Miss Hathorne's present. It's gone. What? What? That's terrible. Mr. My right must have grabbed it when he s slammed into me. Foolish boy, that's the only thing that could have saved him. What in blazes are we supposed to do now? Their suits make up the Italian flag. They do. <laughs> Mr. Wright, this sort of behavior is unprecedented in the history of this court. Uh, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna be the last time he's gonna cause issues. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm afraid that your apology is not a- SHUT THE FUCK UP! I'M TALKING! Uh -oh. Welcome back. I am Mars. <clears throat> I got Cheeto Puffs. You're right. Oh, yeah. What did you do with the bottle necklace? <laughs> Just like- <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. Okay, just give back the- back the necklace. Oh. I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I ate it. I ate it. Uh, you what? Ate you. It. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was joking about saying it was blue raspberry flavor. You oh ate it. God. Oh my god. What? I was a little hungry. <laughs> I had to chew it a little bit at first, but yeah. I ate it. What, what the fuck? fuck? What is he doing now? He's dying. Hold it. <laughs> Your honor, you've got to stop the trial. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, are you feeling okay? Does your stomach hurt? He's actually fucking dying. Oh my god. He could die. The bottle you swallowed may have some poison left in it. Objection! He's dead and, and like, the entirety of the game has been like screams. <laughs> Give us a second. Oh, I gotta, I'm fucking uh, dying. Gotta rub, rub the engine. <laughs> there we go. It seems oh the god. defendant has proven the prosecution's case for us. Clearly, the bottle did not contain a deadly poison. Man, it's almost like bottles of bottles take so more than thirty sure. minutes. <laughs> I think that's obvious. As you can see, the defendant is still very much alive. Not for much longer. As for the poison, a tummy ache. more like a fledgling defense attorney's overactive imagination. Oh, but tummy ache. Yeah, tummy ache. Well, I mean, he isn't a corpse, so I guess it so would seem. I am Objection! No! There must be some mistake. The Phoenix started dying. The bottle must not have any poison left in it. Either that, or the poison must have lost its potency. There, there. It's all right, rookie. Trusting your client is the most noble thing a defense attorney can do. Oh, it moves my heart. I want to fucking die. I feel my arm. It's heartwarming to see you place so much faith in Mr. <laughs> Ryan. I mean, I don't know why you would. He's kind of he just passes out what? on the floor. <laughs> he's, he's like, like my arm. He's like, my throat hurts. It was kind <laughs> of sharp. <laughs> he just packs it up. I mean, the fucker did kind of just chew on glass. Like, I mean... <laughs> or he's lying. The lights are on, but no one's home, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> or he's lying. But that's how it is for us on the prosecution side, too! For example, I would trust this witness, Miss Hawthorne, with my very life, and then she'll give me a tear three sub on Twitch! That guy. Which is why I can state that your assessment of her is completely wrong! That. God, that is fucking enough. I'm so, I'm so done. I'm so done. Unfortunately, Miss Faye, I cannot accept your explanation of the offense. But why? This may be impossible for a beginner like you to understand, but in a court of law, evidence is everything. Shut up. Oh my god. I actually died. Even if I prove so much, she's gonna get away with everything? Well, now that suspicion surrounding Miss Hawthorne has been cleared up, I'd like to proceed with the trial. Me again? Okay. Me Hold it! Mr. Wright? Hold it, I'm dying. I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Watch him be like, achoo. Sorry, Mr. Faye. I totally slipped, it totally slipped my mind. I really, I'm really, really sorry. I know you believed in me. 
And I feel like I really let you down. <laughs> yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Alright. What are you trying to say? I'm saying my stomach hurt. Also, there's something I forgot to tell you. I am bisexual. <laughs> 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 I am a gay man. What <laughs> is it? That day, day I met Doug Swallow. Oh? I still can't believe it. Oh? oh what do you swallow? There you go. <laughs> oh, I know you shouldn't see anymore. It's <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's none of your business. Oh, I'm okay. telling you, for your sake, oh. you continue to see it, it's gonna be bad news. You're lying. <laughs> Just listen to me, mate. It's something you need to know about that girl. Last night, someone saw some poison from our lab. Why were you making poison? Why were you making that? <laughs> the same thing happened eight months ago. A drug sample was stolen. She came to the lab that time, too. Like the ravenous <laughs> fucking harlot she is. It could only have been her. That girl is a thief. Isn't that Stop your Stop it. Damn. Oh, don't don't talk about her like that. Bam! Oh, bullets! <laughs> isn't, isn't that just straight up hearsay? Because he's dead. Oh, crikey! Is it? Um, is it true? Did he really say that? Hear him say what? We have no proof of it. That's it, 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 ridiculous. Try <laughs> about it. Cold mall seat. Hold There's on, hold on. I actually, I actually have some really good images for that. Continue that after, I, after I pushed him that day, I worried and came back to have a look. He was there. Oh, he was right there. I was right there. I was crouched down next to him. What? He told me not to ever tell anyone about it, but I'm sorry, Dolly. Objection! Your Honor, this. Hey, you tell him! Ollie didn't do it. She's innocent. Huh. So Dolly just stole poison eight months ago, too, huh? Oh. Put that together with hey, Ham, can you, look in, can you look in stream chat? Thank you. Then there's only one possible conclusion. <laughs> the defense believes that Dolly Hawthorne I don't know who the first two are, but Stole I like them. some poison on the night before. the best character in the fucking game, though. The night before? Christmas? Naturally. Her Man. mother used to steal it to kill someone. Girl boss, I guess. Hey. If you're so certain of your theory, then let me ask you this. Maya, this is your last chance. Think carefully. Yeah. Mia! Mia, sorry! Yes, you are sorry. Now continue. <laughs> sorry, I, I went to go see what was your chat. There's something that she desperately wanted to get back. Therefore... Exactly, who was Miss ha Dolly Hawthorne planning to kill? Phoenix. Me. Right? Take that! There's only one person that was standing, standing squarling with Miss Dolly really? Hawthorne way. And that person? That person was Mr. Phoenix Wright! Why... Why would she do that, though? <laughs> Me?! OBJECTION! Th 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 that's preposterous! After all, it was Doug Swallow that was murdered! Well, if it's true, and that's how things worked out. But let's remember, Mr. Swallow died of electrocution, not poison. The person that Miss Hawthorne was playing to poison was, in fact, you, Phoenix Wright. There was no one else it could be. But, 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 but how, how could that be? I thought Mr. Wright and Miss Hawthorne were in love! No. Poor Mr. Kate Wright. This must kill him. Hang in there. I'll bring her to justice, I swear it. As I said it before, the only thing that Hawthorne truly cared, cared about was the one piece of evidence linking her to the incident eight months ago. That's right, the bottle necklace that she 
cared about. But even so, what? Why would she go so far as to murder him? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Eight months ago, just after the fall of of the attorney in the basement cafeteria, Dolly Hawthorne could only think of one thing: how to get rid of the bot the, the bottle necklace as quickly as possible. Oh, happy! It was a pretty oh. good move she made. Two, the evidence was missing for a long time. But there was a one big problem. Although she got him to hide the evidence, Mr. Wright refused to return it to her. Oh. To him, the tiny bottle was a tr a Cherish. cherished treasure. He even showed it to everyone he met. He, you mean that's why she tried to kill Mr. Wright? But, but Correct, why? Your Honor. Uncle Hunt, it was to retrieve the piece of evidence. Right, Crow? You finish right now. Uncle Hunt's sexy. This is why I'm gay. This is why I'm gay. This is why I'm gay. Beanie, what a joke you are. What? Ha! Huh? Yeah, Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? Uh, I've even told you time and time again to keep your trap shut about me and that necklace. You disgust me. Oh, Miss Hawthorne? It appears we're nearing the end of this. Your Honor, we're about to see the breakdown. Fine. I can tell you plan on making me into a criminal no matter what I say. You are criminal, Miss Hawthorne. We'll see about that. But first, where's your evidence? It seems your sniveling little crybaby of a client has eaten the bottle as a snack. Ugh. I'll, um... Hey! Old man, are you senile or something? Why don't you say something instead of sitting there with that dumb look on your face? Uh, 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 Miss Hawthorne, what has happened to you? <laughs> Are you really that shocked? Or do you prefer me this way, Mr. Judge? What the actual fuck is going on? <laughs> absolutely no proof. You treat a voluntary witness like she's a mass murderer? Well, I have nothing more to say. I'll be heading home now if you don't mind. But, but, but we're not finished! I am. Fine. Then ask this nasty old hag to finish up already. Fuck you. Jesus. Hold it! I can't let her get away yeah. Stop! Mia! You keep on pushing without any evidence. You could pay the ultimate price as a lawyer. What, well, getting disbarred? Yes. <laughs> ultimate price. The ultimate price. Do it at least. Like... You'd, you'd be forced to take off your attorney's badge. What forever. for a badgering claim? Yes, we're very, we're really? very mean. We're very mean to defense attorneys. I, I, I <laughs> it's been two <laughs> games. Come on, man. I thought we established this already. <laughs> But like, really, like, disbarring for a single badgering claim? Jesus Christ! You better think it over carefully, Miss Bay. Like or should I say, Miss Gray? No, no, it's a different character. What? Well, <laughs> Miss Bay, I almost read that as Miss Gay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if there's anything Phoenix Wright's known for, it's lawyers that are gay. Uh, can you provide evidence that would establish her guilt once and for all? I mess up here, my career as a lawyer is over. It's literally that. But to be honest, at this point, I don't have any evidence that is well found. That sucks. Even so, oh, I'd rather lose my attorney's bags than let her get away with murder. Fuckers. Like Your Honor, the defense would like to present proof. Uh, impossible! You can't possibly! Stupid woman. 
That's it? That, that's all you got? Uh, it is the opinion of the court that there has already been enough discussion. I Therefore, can't cuss. I will only allow one piece of evidence to be presented. Oh lord. Oh lord, he better save. Oh lordy There's lordy. One save station. I got it. <coughs> one Excuse me. What Excuse is me. If you, are, one? if you are Wait, unable to establish your guilt, did, then I'm afraid did they that say a, one? Yes, yeah. one. Fucking hell, keep up the program. Then I'm afraid oh. that a very harsh verdict will immediately be handed oh. down on Mr. Wright. I understand, Your Honor. I can just imagine the headlines tomorrow for tomorrow's newspaper. Up and coming lawyer plummets to earth before she gets the chance to soar. Playing to, she's planning oh. to poison Mr. Wright. If that's the case, then the, the poison was probably in there. Oh, well then, Miss Faye, please present your evidence. Show to this court irrefutable proof that Miss Hawthorne was planning to poison Mr. Wright. Medicine! Mr. Medicine! Wright? The, the medicine? medicine? Is it the medicine? medicine because he, medicine. Cause he, didn't take, he, takes it, he takes it after lunch. Like, take that. after eating. Here it is, Your Honor. The, this evidence will prove her guilt once and for all. Cold Killer X, Phoenix Wright's beloved cold medicine. Hell yeah, B. <laughs> Does our rookie defense attorney have a bit of a cold? Got a little bit of a case of the sniffles? <laughs> oh, you do. If I did, I still wouldn't take this cold medicine. After all, it has it's been poisoned. Remember what the defendant said in his testimony? Oh, I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. <laughs> I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. She's the one who took the, his bottle of cold killer ass. Like that voice, <laughs> Jay. I love it. <laughs> knowing that Mr. Wright was going to take some. Objection! Now you're really grasping at straws! After all, it was the victim, Doug Swallow, that was holding the medicine! I would like the court to recall the crime that happened here eight months ago. Where did Miss Hawthorne hide the evidence? Huh? What are you talking about? Eight months ago. The poison was hidden in her bottle necklace. Which she then gave to someone else for safekeeping. Someone she had accidentally run into reading in the reading room. My client, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yes, that's right. She did the same thing this time. After sho shoving the victim, sho shoving the victim, Mr. Phoenix Wright left the scene of the crime. That's when the murderer. Dahlia Hawthorne appeared. With, with her, she was carrying a poisoned bottle of Cold Killer X. This is, of course, was how she would carry out her plan to murder Mr. Wright. And she just hit him on the side of the head with it. I believe she did testify that she was going to meet with the defendant. Yes, and she heard and saw everything that happened at the scene of the crime. Including... What the defendant and the victim were arguing about, and the cut electrocution cable. Then she realized, I, I can't allow Doug Swallow to live. She used the severed electric cable to silence him forever. Unfortunately for her, this is when the problem occurred. Mr. Wright, who she thought had left the scene of crime, came back to check on the victim. And at the top of that was because of the power outage. Some students showed up as well. It's it's hardly any wonder that she was, and as put it, in a state of panic. Recall that she was carrying that bottle of, po of poison cold medicine? Bottle. Shut up. She must have thought, what if they search me like they did eight months ago? <laughs> eight months ago? No, exactly. Yes, she disposed of the evidence exactly the same way she did back then. She did the 
same thing someone else would do. It's a case of Doug Chihuahua. She ain't got no ass. She's a she's terrible at cleanup. Come on now, everyone. Surely you aren't fooled, are you? Yes. This stupid woman, she's nothing but a filthy stinking liar. Break down, break down, break down. Right, Mr. Prosecutor. Uh-huh. Uh yeah, yeah, that's exactly right! It's just pure desperation! Objection! Test off our game medicine, boy. I wonder which one of us is the desperate one. So, Miss Hawthorne. This cold medicine, I wonder if you can take me some. That's bad. You don't take medicine well, when you're not Mr. sick Wright. or bad. Well, Mr. Wright ate that necklace of yours. Now it's your turn to prove your innocence. What do you say? You're not supposed to do that, it's bad. If you're just a filthy, stinking liar, then there's no need to worry. No, it's bad. So come on now, show us! I dare you to take this medicine right now. That's bad. That's bad, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. She speaks in all time. Mia Fey! Mia Do you think you've won? Well, do you, Mia Fey? Fuck you, spooky bitch. <laughs> That's just fine. For the time being, victory is yours. For the time being? Well, I have a very long memory, you know. You and I will meet again. I'm certain of it. Is she gonna come back? Well then, Mr. Judge. I'll see you later too, okay? She's coming back. Did she just fucking incinerate those butterflies with her mind? Uh, no, her pure. Well, I didn't alone. even see that. <laughs> Why well, did? That was terrifying. <laughs> you can't eat it. Anger alone. <laughs> they love, they love, they love. Could she, could Stop being a bitch. I'm going to spend a little quality time with the men in blue now. I wish you all the best. Orange really isn't gonna look good on her. It's not. No. She's too pale. Yeah, she can doesn't have the color it. palette. She doesn't have the color palette. To pull yeah, off. she really don't. It's Crow finally could, all Crow could pull out. No, Crow has a good. Objection! I, I refuse to accept this. The defense has showed yes. a scrap of evidence to support their outrageous okay. claim. Eat Shut the up. medicine, Mr. Payne. Zoom. Well, I would have just been like, I don't have a cold. I don't need to take it. Pain. <laughs> The bitch set butterflies <laughs> on fire. She's evil. Come on. Yeah. Crow, crow, shut the. I looked at the. I don't care. I'm Winston Payne. I don't believe one word that rookie lawyer has said. Well, Mr. Payne, let me ask you this. Oh shit. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Would you care to try the cold medicine? Yes. What? <laughs> crow, crow. You know, earlier, yes. I could have sworn you said. Eat your word, Boogie. So, if that, if she is truly sorry. I'm sure you. I'm sure then there couldn't be possibly any boy, right? Uh, well, um, yes. you see, um, yeah. I missed the objective. And there comes the back pedal. Now come on, rookie killer. Show us this rookie how it's done. How you trust, really. How much trust do you really have for this woman? <laughs> Are you laughing at her? To beat your I'm own life? I'm doing beat. Everyone, <laughs> please, the love of God, let her read. Are I, you I, I, I just bet your life? I won't. Do it. I told you.
told you from I told you from the beginning of this case, Pain, I was gonna make you bald. My <laughs> rubber <laughs> kickball here. <laughs> that, Your Honor, look, I did it. Your Honor, look, I did. I told you I'd make him bald. For you. <laughs> well, uh, I guess you could say that me and Faye won by a hair. <laughs> That's all, folks. And uh, dun, 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 dun. This is why you're not. Uh, get out. Get out. <laughs> get the fuck out. Oh. Miss you, the owner. You can kick him out. Yeah, you about... can kick him out of the. You can kick yeah, him out of right. Mr. Payne. <laughs> about Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> all right, I was kind of bold. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yes, your honor. I'll file the papers for her immediate arrest. <laughs> My wife won't look at me in the eyes anymore. <laughs> no hair for you. Mmm, tragic, but not surprising. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. I just find your expense so fucking funny, man. Like, God, please, wallow. Wallow. As, as, as the kids would say, cope, mauled, and seed. <laughs> Oh yeah, don't care I didn't ask <laughs> don't care I didn't ask Cope Mall Seed L. Yeah. I, I knew there was something suspicious about her from the very beginning. I knew it. I knew it. He didn't shut up. Don't lie, just admit you were wrong. Uh by the way, uh Miss Faye. Yes, Your Honor. Was it just me or did you and Miss Dolly Hawthorne seem to like like uh I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say what anyone else is thinking. Um uh <laughs> Are you fucking? No. Your Honor, whether we did or not, <laughs> in this case. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well. Uh, Mr. Payne. This can't be happening. It's a nightmare. It's like losing my own daughter. I do have a daughter. See, see, see. It appears Mr. Payne has lost his spirit along with his hair and his mind. Does the and defendant his have anything further to say? And his daughter. And his wife. Oh, You're old. Nick. But you shut <laughs> up. This is what well, you said for being straight. This is what you get for being straight. Well said. Hi. I believe I am ready to pass judgment <laughs> and bring this trial to an end. Stop whining. I will. <laughs> I will come down there and slap you, boy. I will do it. I swear to God. I'm gonna beat you with this damn gun. Right. Uh, the court finds the defendant, Phoenix Wright, not guilty. Bro, that's what I was trying to remember earlier whenever we were talking about Pearl. Just like, right here. Right here. This court is adjourned. God, I can't fucking hear myself back. <laughs> I've been trying to be really quiet. I've been trying to be quiet this whole stream. <laughs> I just love the idea. Oh god. Mia, you were wonderful in there! Thank you for everything, Mr. Grossberg. During the verdict, I thought my hemorrhoids were going to explode like Mount Vesuvius! <laughs> oh my fucking god. god this all very... right, that's all, folks. It was a good stream. Um... Be a very... I, I hate this guy. Very different trial than all oh, man. He didn't even mention having hemorrhoids in the first game. Be like this whole court was covered in chocolate pudding. Uh, Mr. Grosser, do you maybe think you could stop talking about them? Oh, well, that's rather rude. That's like, that's, that's like, that's, that's like my personality that's trait. It's like a personality trait. It's like my quirky oh, character trait. Oh, well, anyway, this case really made me think. What does it really mean to have a relationship of mutual trust with the client? Perhaps it is we veteran lawyers who have lost sight of this. Shut up with your big fat man titties. Sorry. Oh, Mr. Wright! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh. Thank, thank you. Um, you know, I, I, I was thinking. Go on. The only that I saw up there on the witness stand. I don't think that was really her. Oh, fucking oh. pinged me. <gasps> what? Oh. Yeah, the, the dolly I knew, I, I knew could never have said those kinds of terrible things. It, maybe she was like, I don't know, I'll fake or something. Boy, this poor kid still hasn't got a clue. You need to forget about her, sister, for your own sake. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Probably, probably for the best. 
Also, you need to relax a bit more. Try to grow up a little. Bro, no, but of all my friends, everyone says I'm the most grown up. Eat what kind of company this guy keep? Butts. I keep butts. I keep that dumbass around. Right now, I am starting to become a lawyer myself. That's what you keep saying. But I also thought you were in the art department. Yeah, I have a pastel yeah, no, project due by <laughs> next Tuesday. And I'm here in court with you assholes. No, oh. There's a friend that I desperately des des There's a friend that I desperately want to help. Meanwhile, somewhere else. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my I seem to Is seize. Is it Mary Butts by any chance? <clears throat> oh, yeah, him too. It's someone else. Uh, I think I might be coming down with the cold. If I hurry, then I should be able to save him in time. <gasps> Gay. Gay, homosexual, <laughs> gay. Hey, gay homosexual, you're gay. Oh my god. I see. Hey, Miss Faye. Lawyer is someone who can help people when they're in trouble, right? Mr. Wright, I s I'm still new at this myself. But I think that's exactly what a lawyer is. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna study my- I'll, I'll study my butt off! I'll become a lawyer for sure! I hope. I hope we see each other again someday. Maybe even a court. For your sake, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. come back. Five years since I was acquainted of all charges. I became a lawyer like I planned. It's just to save my friend. He has passed on to a better place. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> Just, I die. I die. For me, this <laughs> trial brings up a lot of pain. Fuck, I cut off my memories. But it also brings up some very precious moments. Memories that I thought would never rise to the surface again. Like how I had to pass that necklace. He is gone now. <laughs> I'm trying to be emotional, and you bitches. Ah, <laughs> damn it. But even so. I could still hear her, hear her in my mind. Phoenix! No matter what, always believe in your client. Aged well. In the court of law, your greatest weapon is your belief. I fall years ago. Something has happened that made me think back to her words of wisdom. That is a story for another day. The Woo! end! Oh, it took us three hours, baby.